Hi everybody, this is Dale. Welcome to my channel, Not Too Shabby Chic. Today I'm coming to show you some happy mail and or racks that I received uh, two days in a row. It's been a while since I got um, some of those, so this was super exciting and uh, I wanted to share it with you online. I've already shown pictures of this first one I'm going to show um, on the Facebook group that, that this person is in and I'm a member of as well. Uh, so this is from Sherry Smear um, with Studio 28E Journal Creations. Um, I'm a member of that group and several others and Sherry is uh, the sort of the owner if you will a uh, creator of that group and I got this wonderful rack. She was quite busy um, this week and last week sending out quite a few. I saw many that she sent out and that was so sweet of her to do that for so many people. Anyway, here we go. One of my favorite things she sent me was this beautiful trim. I don't know where she got it, but I love it. And Sherry, you're going to have to tell me where this came from because I want lots of it. This is absolutely gorgeous. I can't wait, you know, to use it. This is some uh, journal I'm working on now. I can't wait to use it. I, and I'll be able to use it in this journal as well. Um, then I got this gorgeous eyelash trim. I love eyelash trim. And I must say that this black and white is the prettiest I've ever seen. I've never seen any made like this. It's like a, a trim with the eyelash fiber sticking off of it. It's just gorgeous. I can't wait to do something where I can use this. I've never seen this for sale anywhere um, where I shop. So just I'm just blown away. It's just so cool. Love it, Sherry. Then I got these beautiful appliques, these little flowers. I adore these. I, I mean, there's nothing she sent me that's something I already have um, and that's not something I will definitely use. So this is really cool to get a happy mail full of surprises that are gorgeous and you love everything and you don't already have it. So you, you, you did amazing, Sherry. And I had mentioned on one of the live streams that I do on Sunday nights uh, on Studio 2080 that I wanted some red eyelash trim and I hadn't seen any. And uh, look here, showed up in my happy mail. Miss Sherry sent me some, so that is super cool. Then I have these beautiful um, little flowers she made. Aren't they pretty? Let's see if my camera will focus. Come on, focus. No, I don't know. It doesn't like it. But anyway, it's several. Let me see if this works better. Um, there's several layers with some cheesecloth and a button. Um, here. So it's really pretty. Now I think I'm too. Um, hold on a minute. I think I'm too dark. Well, you know, when you have these production issues, it just stinks. So I'm going to try this. Because that's making a shadow. I think that's much better. Anyway, beautiful flower she made. And then these two tiny ones, this one has a little leaf attached. Isn't that pretty? And then here's the other one. They almost look like um, leather little bits, but it's paper. Looks like it's got some pearlized um, finish of some sort on it, and they're on little brads. So those were adorable. I'll be able to use those. Might even be able to use one in this journal here that I'm working on. Then she sent me this beautiful little card um, that's from the Wilmantic Spool. It says Wilmantic Spool Cotton, um, and Sherry told me a little story about this, um, where it came from, and the history behind it. Unfortunately, 
I don't remember the story, but I was very happy to know it when I got it, and it's in my phone, um, and I could tell you if I look on my phone, but it'll take me a while to find it, but that is adorable. Then she sent me, I'm not sure if this is a seam binding um, or exactly what. It's a little stiff like sizing in it, but it's beautiful. I love the blue and I love this one. Some muted colors that are peaches and some turquoise, maybe some eggplant color. Very pretty. I can't wait to use those. I think I'm going to sew those up into ruffles. Then here's the same thing, but much wider. And I love these colors. And on the camera, there, that likes that. It's a more of a dark kind of shrimp. Eh, maybe not shrimp. Um, peachy, shrimpy color with some purple um, and golds and cream. I love this. This will make some beautiful ruffles that I'll sew up to use on my pages. Then, this Sunday, we also, uh, one of the things I did was show several different folds you can do with paper to make pockets for your journal pages. Um, and the challenge for this week was, in that Facebook group, was to embellish, make two different folds out of the ten variations that I um, displayed or showed how to do. Um, and that's the challenge. Well, she had sent me this happy mail before Sunday night because I received it, I think, Monday. And oddly enough, or coincidentally, if you believe in coincidence, this was one of the ones I showed everybody how to make, and Sherry had already mailed me one, so I thought that was really cool. She made this one out of um, uh, music paper, and she distressed it. I'm not sure what color the, the ink is, but it's got a little bit of a sparkle to it, so very cute. And then she sent me... A guest check with a little note from Sherry. Thank you on the back. Um, I got an envelope with a matching journal card or a card that would go in the envelope. So thank you so much Sherry for the happy mail and there was another thing she sent I almost forgot about. Um, this cameo. I don't know how she did that but it is absolutely See if I can get it close, close. Maybe not, but it is just gorgeous. So I used it on this tag uh, that I made for this journal I'm doing and added some buttons and lace and what have you. But isn't that, I just love that. That is just so pretty. Um, that's the back. So she, Sherry sent me that as well. And I believe. everything from Sherry. So thank you Sherry so so much for this wonderful little rack. I will use every single piece of it. It is beautiful and I'm not sharing it with anybody because I don't have to. Um, and you made it for me and I'm going to be selfish and use every piece for my stuff. And I'm very excited. I can't wait to use that. This one. Ugh, I just, I just drew over that. The other one I got was from um, Miss Dearborn. And she is in um, Junk Journal Junkaholics, I believe. But she's also in Studio 28E. Um, but her name is Kathy. Oh, no, sorry, not Kathy. Christy ranks Dearborn. And this is the cutest little stamps that she did on the envelope. It remind me of that Nightmare Before Christmas or whatever when the story begins. And then she stamped on the back. Isn't that adorable? She sent me this huge envelope full of things. So I'm going to start pulling them out and showing you. These are... Uh, receipts or could be receipts central meat market cash store and then this is an ad um, from a ballroom so that is super cool 
And then she sent some wonderful um, children's book pages that I love. These will be great in journals. Some more um, old receipts. And I love old receipts. And children, I mean, I love everything. You can't send me anything that I don't love. I don't think. You might could, but it'd be hard to do. And I'm not sure what this is, but it, I, I believe it, it's for some type of seeds. You plant your seeds, and it's got the date harvested, date planted, I'm sorry, date harvested in notes. So that is super cool. I haven't seen one of those before. And then she sent uh, some receipts, um, not completed, and a guest check which is cool. I don't think I had any guest checks, especially not any thicker ones like these. These are super nice. Um, and this sweet little card that she made, is that not beautiful? It's kind of like a daisy, I think, and I love daisies and sunflowers. So, you know, I, I can use that again. That, that's going to be awesome. It looks like she colored, colored it as well. But, Chrissy, thank you so much. This little tiny envelope. I love little baby envelopes. Itty bitty things. They're so cute. Um, these two uh, old cards. These are awesome. I don't know what kind of cards they are, but they're old. And I love these. I love everything. I'm going to quit saying that. This is a coin envelope she sent. Love coin envelopes. I love this ball jar. It's a ball jar tag that she sent me and made. Um, the back is blank. Is that not adorable? And garden fairy stickers. They're so cute. There's all you know, just a book full of sweet garden fairies with the amongst the flowers. This cute little squirrel picture or a little tiny tag. Here's a postcard with an old car. I don't know what kind of car because I don't know about that kind of stuff, but it's cool. And Oh, here you go. It's a Sturbridge. No, it's from the Sturbridge Auto Museum, Route 20. It's a Chevrolet, a 1934 Chevrolet Master 6 Sport Roadster. That is pretty cool. I love old postcards. So there's nothing that, that Christy sent me that I can't use either. I love these little cards with, with little, I guess they're like a flash card, but it said, had, the small boy had said, kind of what I was thinking. <laughs> Isn't that cute? A little tiny bag, paper bag. I love these. An old recipe card. I'm not done yet, folks. More envelope, um, uh, coin envelopes. This is an old page about birds. It's indigo bunting bird. And on the reverse is the lazuli bunting. So I'll have to make a copy of one side because if I glue it, glued it down on anything, it would hide it, or I can just use it as a page and tuck, tuck and page or whatever. This is really neat. It's uh, music, a piece from a uh, back of a music thing that's telling what, what a measure is, the signature, uh, sharp, flat, and natural. That would be awesome in a journal. Of course, all of this will be awesome in a journal. Here's another bird page. Two different ones. I have this. is super cool. It's a recipe page, like a bookmark. And this one is a mushroom. I love it. It says, life is too short to stuff a mushroom. I can't even say it. Life is too short to stuff a mushroom. Isn't that cute? By Shirley Conran. She's the one that said that. Then over here, uh, Madame Benoit said, I feel a recipe is only a theme which an intelligent cook can play each time with a variation. That's the way I cook. If I get a recipe, I never follow it exactly and change it. So these were super neat. I've never seen any like that. I love those. And for real bingo cards, which I played bingo in my day. So that is awesome. They're the real deal. Here's some more. Uh, I love these. This is like from a Yellow Pages or old, old phone book. 
uh, long tells you how to make long distance calls. Um, it's not as old as I am because it's saying mobile service, and when I grew up, you didn't have no mobile service. Um, because it says many automobiles, boats, trains, and trucks are now equipped for mobile telephone service. So I don't know what year this was. It's not quite as old as I thought it was, but it's really cool. Uh, how to talk, how to dial a telephone, how to call another party. Talks about party lines and all that kind of stuff. So that made me chuckle. Super cool. Because we had a party line when I was a kid, and I would listen to the other people talking when I was visiting my grandmother. And I, was, I got in trouble a couple of times, maybe, so I had to quit, but it was fun. These little circles, this has got a little party hat, and then this paper looks perforated on the back, but it's the polka dot with the craft paper, which I love. I love this green, um, I love crinkly sound. I'm not sure what kind of paper, it almost feels like tracing paper, except it's green, so love that. I said I was going to quit saying that, didn't I? And then here's just a white piece. It's kind of a different texture. Beautiful. I love these little puzzle pieces. These are um, a ram and a rooster. I needed that rooster for my prayer journal I just finished and sold, but um, I can save it for another one. Those are so cute. Another piece of, this is tracing paper love the sound of it. This is absolutely gorgeous. Uh, Christy, you have to tell me what you used to do this. If you've got a punch that does this, I want to know which one it is. And when I use punches, I don't have one that this intricate, but some that are a little intricate, I have trouble with getting them to work right. So that is just fabulous. And I may use it in here. You just never know. I mean, you know, I kept going for days and days when I was opening my envelope earlier um, yesterday, and I was like, oh my word, she sent me her whole craft room. Um, some more of these little, they're heavy cardstock. This one's a little piece of birthday cake. This says, tell a joke. So that's cute. Here's a little beautiful envelope. I love the um, ducks with the lily pads, and she just wrote me a little note. Thank you so much again, Christy. The, I mean, well, how generous is this? This is just amazing. Um, haven't seen Rook cards in forever. I used to play Rook all the time in the 80s, um, very early 80s, and that brought back memories. I'm like, I gotta get me some Rook cards. These are uh, deposit and date slips, I guess. Pretty, really cool for pages. A library pocket. I love library pockets. I love this. And Christy has no idea. I don't know if you guys know who this is, but I do. I believe, if I'm correct, this is Junie B. Jones. My granddaughter, Skylar, who just gave birth four and a half months ago to my great-granddaughter, uh, she loved Junie B. Jones, and she read Junie B. Jones books. I read them to her, and I just love Junie B. Jones. She is the cutest character. So if you've got kids uh, or not, you should read some of her books because she was mischievous, and it was, they're, they're awesome. I haven't seen one of these since I was a kid. Viewmasters, I used to have one, and this is so awesome. I can't wait to do something with this um, and look through the view. Take the Viewmaster. It says Flower Garden, Sacred River, Brands Cascade. So it's Caverns of Luray, Virginia. Isn't that cool? But I might poke those out and use it uh, in a journal with paper or something cool behind it to show through those little windows. But I love that. I've got to find some more of those. And I love the pig. It's like from a little pop-up book. And the big cow, that would be so cute in a farm journal, farm style journal. Love it. And here is um, property of Lake Pine Association. These are bingo cards that 
I can't imagine anyone, they probably use the little tokens to put on here. These were what they used before they came out with those paper ones. Probably because the old folks lost all the coins all the time. Um, and I love this. This is a music bar um, with no notes or anything on it. It's like tracing paper or onion skin. I love that. I haven't seen anything like that. And then, last but not least, it's got this napkin, Maine, the way life should be. Man took it. Um, and she made these. So the rack was enough, and then she actually made something too, and so they're, they're just gorgeous. This is a little um, stuffed envelope. She did this adorable altered paper clip. Come on, camera. It's a little bird and a flower and a little piece of trim. And that looks like a little piece of rattan off of a chair or something and then the paper clips on the back so again I can use that here too I can't use everything in there I want to and then this she made out of a book page and on the back she put you know this little um, thing and a butterfly on top of the little um, quaking aspen tree for decoration and then you open it and it's just full of goodies. There's an envelope she made out of a book page. And it's got a cute little piece of uh, lace with a uh, button in the middle. So it looks like a daisy like these. And I, daisies are one of my favorite flowers. Daisies and sunflowers. And she didn't know that. And here's a sunflower. So I love these. And it's like a little tiny file folder. This is so cute. I can't wait to use this stuff. This is so funny. It's like a little gnome playing a ukulele with a bird sitting on it. I just, he makes me laugh. And she made it into a little book. So you could journal on that. Oh, I'm doing rangy that. Um, and then this is adorable little pocket. It's just a simple fold that she did and, and embellished it. And she stitched around everything. And this little card, I love that paper. Um, maybe someday, somehow, somewhere, I want to say my dreams will come true. And they will. Somehow, someday, somewhere, who knows when. Thank you so much, Christy. This is just over, above, and beyond um, for a rack that you sent all this stuff and um, made this also for me. I just, I'm blown away and just thank you so very much. You made my day. And uh, thank you, Sherry, for the wonderful um, happy mail that you sent me. Oh, I forgot something. Look, this is um, from Chris from Christy also. It's a big tag. I thought there was something. There. Is that not gorgeous? And it's got a little watering can, a little pocket there. It's got moss and leaf. And another one, fern. Isn't that cute? And she embellished and decorated. There's a flower theme. Isn't that gorgeous? She stitched it. And in the middle, there's more. Beautiful tag that she, um, botanical tag with irises, I think those are. And then it's got the thumb hole in the back. And this is made, it looks like, from a paper bag. That is amazing. So. Thanks, everybody. I hope you enjoyed my happy mail and rack, and hope you have a blessed evening. Thank you again, ladies. You're wonderful, awesome, fantabulous, and I appreciate you so much, and thank you so much for um, thinking of me. It, it means a lot.